May your morning be colorful, joyful, and blessed. This is Mrs. Rosan V. Parane from Payapa National High School and we are on our way to week 3, Healthy Lifestyle. For the previous lesson that we already discussed for week 1 and 2, we already discussed and tackled the parts and the function of the respiratory and circulatory system and how do the two systems work together. So this is just a continuation of the week 1 and 2 and this lesson will allow you to infer on how one's lifestyle can affect the functioning of the respiratory and circulatory system. Eating nutritious food, doing regular exercise, and gaining adequate sleep daily can keep your respiratory, cardiovascular, or circulatory system, and also the immune system stronger. So the prepared activities will give your body enough knowledge, skills, and attitude toward a healthy lifestyle. And to have a healthy lifestyle, we must be conscious on what we are doing. Like monitoring the amount of sleep we have daily, how we move in our position when doing something like working in front of the computer, eating the nutritious food, and avoiding what is not necessary in our body. Science can reveal that healthy body, eating correct food for our age and body, and having fitness routine can help prevent diseases like hypertension, stress, high cholesterol, diabetes, and even simple tract diseases, respiratory tract diseases, like cough, colds, asthma, sinusitis, and allergies. Also, preventing the coronavirus to enter our system can be learned from this so before we proceed on our activity proper, let us have our self-assessment on how active are you. So I prepared three questions and then you're going to answer it on your notebook. Number one, how often do you walk more than a kilometer? Letter A, every day. Letter B, once a week. Letter C, once or twice a week. Letter D, very rarely. And letter E, never. Question number two, when was the last time you took any form of physical exercise? Letter A, yesterday. Letter B, last week. Letter C, last month. Letter D, a long time ago. And letter E, you cannot even remember. Okay, so for number three, you're going to select any of the following activities that you do regularly. For example, cycling, watching TV, playing outdoors like basketball, volleyball, softball, and etc. Playing computer games, surfing the net, walking along the backyard and garden, listening to the music in your room, going to a gym, or messaging your friends. If you are performing an activity that is not here on our selection, you can also write your activity on your notebook. Okay, so let's have a self-check. Can you calculate the number of hours you spend on the activities per day or per week? For example, how many hours you spend cycling in a day? And how many hours you spend watching television? Do you think which of the activities in the questionnaire may, might be good for your heart? And which of the following are activities in the questionnaire might be good for your physical and mental health? Okay, so please write all the answers in your notebook. So let us proceed to our learning task one. So you're going to read the instruction in your module during the simple regular exercise at home. We're going to choose any, mater any of the material available at home and assign a pledge of commitment. So what is this pledge of commitment? For example, I, then state your name, pledge to do these physical activities for the month off. So you're going to choose the month that you're going to do this activity. For example, October, 
November or December. And then write your signature and put the date on it. Okay, let's proceed to task number two. You're going to take a look at the chart and figure. Prepare a monthly healthy activities using the chart below. So look at the chart. Uh, this is a pyramid wherein there are four cuts or four components. On the top of the chart or the triangle or the pyramid, those are the activities that you need to cut down on. And then the list of the activities that you should perform two to three times a week. Next is the activities that you should pre you should perform three to five times a week. And then on the bottom part are the activities that you should perform every day. And after that, after analyzing the pyramid, you are going to fill out the data table for your monitoring purposes. Okay, so we have five columns here. The first column is the weeks of the month. So it is indicated there, week one, two, three, and four. So on the second column, those are, what are the activities that you cut down on? On week one, week two, week three, and week four. Next column, column three, what are the activities that you do two to three times a week? Next column, column number four, what are the activities that you do three to five times a week? And the last column, you're going to indicate the activities that you do every day. Okay? Are my instructions clear? I hope everyone can follow. Okay, so let's proceed to learning task number three. Do this activity with your family members. Sabi nga nila, a family that plays together, stays together. So, may rephrase na lang. So, one way of improving mental health is doing group games like this. So, you're going to read the instructions in the table and begin to answer. After doing the activity, please answer the following question. So, meron tayong tatlong guide questions. Number one. What have you realized on the question being asked to you? Number two, what are the things that you will stop doing? Number three, what are the things that you need to continue? Okay, so let me show you the table that you need to answer. Healthy lifestyle. So the direction is there. So you're going to use a dice. Sabi dito, find your question by rolling dice twice. The first roll determines the number on the top. So, makikita nyo may number sa taas at may number sa left. The second roll of the dice will be uh, determines the numbers in the left side. So, for every question, you should have at least one or two minute discussion. Okay, the question is already provided there for every box and then on the box that uh, has a circle or oval color red nakalagay doon, ask your classmate ibig sabihin, you can ask any question that you like to ask them that you wanted to be answered by your classmate and you can construct your own question related to our activity okay for our learning task number four in this activity you're going to make a menu for this week using the table below make sure that you have combination of balance healthy but not expensive food remember that your family will benefit from this menu so uh, for this table you're going to fill this out with eight columns. On the first column, nakalagay dyan yung meal of the day. So, ilalagay nyo yung breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And below, at the bottom, you're going to describe the menu of the day. And you're going to answer why did you choose them. So, it, uh, it will be used uh, to monitor your meal for the whole week. So, kung makikita nyo, it started day one, 2, 3, 4, 5, hanggang day 7. 
Okay, so I hope that my directions and instructions are clear. Thank you very much and see you on the next online consultation. Thank you.